Well, uh, for those of you in Seoul, you might have expected some relief from the heat this afternoon after the sudden shower, but no, that definitely wasn't the case today for the weather update. Let's go over to our Lee ji at the Weather Center. Uh, ji whether it rains, shines, no matter what, the heat is still here. Oh, yes, Ganyang. And the heat wave warning in the capital has been in effect since last Wednesday. And the weather agency announced that the warning will remain in place until this Friday. Well, it's uh, certainly impossible uh, to go outside without breaking into sweat. But conversely, it's unbearable to stay inside after the sun sets due to the tropical night conditions. So where do we go? Well, Ganyang, uh, as you said, it is barely unbearable at night to fall asleep without the air conditioning on. And there have been a major source of discomfort as of late. In fact, the number of tropical nights this year so far comes to second place after 1994. And these steamy conditions during the day and night will continue until next Monday. And then things will get gradually better. Now, we'll see a repeat of today's weather pattern tomorrow with the Jeolladu province is expecting some isolated showers during the day. On that note, let's move on to tomorrow's temperature readings. Daily low here in Seoul will start out at 26 degrees Celsius, while 24 expected for Daegu. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will see a scorching high of 34 degrees Celsius, while Daegu, Daejeon, and Gwangju will top out at 35. Now over in Rio de Janeiro, where the Summer Olympic Games are in full swing, sunny skies are expected on Tuesday, while there is a slim chance of passing showers on Wednesday. That's Korea for you, and here's international weather for beers around the world.